Yo, 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 yo Pierre, you wanna come out? Or the link of fire Ain't no in between, ain't no switch Or they haven't seen, they don't understand What it means to get out of the pit But it wasn't me, it was Jesus Christ I can never repay what he did It's a sacrifice, yeah he paid a price Yeah I could've been stuck in a pen Smoking weed, all on demon time Thinking that I was somebody back then Had some demons I couldn't get rid I repented, Jesus shed his blood And he really took all of my sins They don't like it when I say repent Or they mock him cause they love they sin Or they think that I'm playing All they wanna do is live their life But they need Jesus is Christ, but you know what I'm saying, so I lay my life in no plan. Hallelujah. You gotta be bold for Jesus, bro. You can't be a coward. You can't be a coward, bro. It's not about being a coward, it's about being wise. Remember that. No, it's about being true to God, bro. If you can't call people out of Islam, you're a coward. The Bible says cowards have their place in hell, bro. You see, talk about that. Okay. Stop, bro. No, bro, I'm gonna go. I gotta preach, bro. I gotta preach. I gotta preach. I'll, I'll hold the mic. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. No, I'll hold it. It's my mic, bro. It's my mic. So I'm gonna hold my mic. I'm asking not to record. I'm talking. Okay, bro. We don't have to do this. You don't have to do it. You don't have to talk. I'll hold it. No, you don't have to talk, bro. It's my mic. It's my rules. It's my rules, bro. Alright, folks. You need to repent. You wanna record? You wanna talk? You wanna record? You wanna talk? You wanna say your shit? Anyway, folks, you must come to Jesus Christ. Your shit, your stuff, you gotta man. come to Jesus. Hey, you're cussing, your bro. Stuff, Christians man. don't cuss, your bro. Stuff. Why are you cussing? If you know Jesus, why are you cussing? God, Jesus came for Gentiles. Did, you, did Jesus, Jesus cuss? Did he cuss? Jesus came did he cuss? for Gentiles. Did he cuss? Was he a Gentile? He was a Jew. He was a Jew. Get a right then. Jesus was a Get Jew. Get a right then. Get a so right why are you then. cussing? Who are you? Children of Who God don't you? cuss. I'm a Who child of God. Are you a Jew? I'm a. I am a Jew. I am a Jew. I am a Jew. Okay. Congratulations. But still wearing a hat and not wearing a hamaka. Okay. Anyways, so folks, you need to get right with Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ, he came to die for sinners. See, the Bible says when we were sinners, Christ died for us. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. And this is good news. Because there's a lot of sinners out here. So know this, that God died for you. God died for you because he loved you. But since God died for you, you must live for him. Since Christ died for you, you must live for him. Because if you do not have the Son, you do not have life. If you do not have the Son, you do not have life. And eternal life starts when you receive Jesus Christ. See, when you come to Jesus Christ, when you're born again, you have eternal life. You're living inside you. See, if I died right now, I would go to heaven because I have eternal life. I'm a child of God, I'm born again. But as a sinner, if you die going to the club, if you die, you know, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, you would not go to heaven. You would not go to heaven. If you die in this club living in sin, you would not go to, there's no rest in peace for sinners. Sinners don't rest in peace. Saints of God rest in peace, but not wicked people. The wicked do not rest in peace. So this is why you must pick a side between light and darkness, between good and evil, to be righteous or to be unrighteous, to be holy or to be unholy. You must pick a side because everyone is on a team. Everyone is serving the kingdom. Choose this day who you serve. Choose this day who you serve. Are you gonna serve Yahweh, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords? Are you gonna serve Satan and his wicked devices? Because Satan's end, Satan's ending is eternal damnation. The ending to a life like this is destruction and separation from God for all eternity. And e eternity is a long time to be wrong. Eternity is a long time to be wrong. But God is giving you enough time to know the truth. God sent a preacher out to warn you because he loves you. So God's doing all he can to reach you. But the Bible says, folks, you have ears that cannot hear, and eyes that cannot see. Come about the Bible, you have Christ is coming back. You gotta repent, believe in Jesus, come out of sin. You must be born again.
So a lot of folks, you see, Jesus Christ says, a lot of you folks, you honor me with my, you honor me, you honor him with his lips, but your heart is far from God. A lot of you folks, you just all talk when it comes to God. You say, I love God, I love Jesus, bro. I go to church every Sunday. But what are you doing Monday through Saturday? You're going to the clubs. You're going to the clubs. You're, get, you're getting drunk. You're having sex with people that's not your spouse. All this stuff. But you want to say you love Jesus. See, Jesus Christ says, what the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So a lot of you folks don't understand that your actions play a big role in your faith. Your works are going to be judged by God. And a lot of you folks, your works are abomination to God. God hates the way you, you live your lifestyle. God hates it how you say you love him, but you worship the devil. You listen to satanic music. You listen to people who, who blaspheme God, who mock Christ, and you say you love Christ. All these celebrities who sold their soul to Satan. They wear all these upside down crosses to mock Christ. And you listen to them. You partake in their evil deeds. And you think God's okay with that. You're delusional. You're delusional to think you can go to heaven, a place where people love God, but all your lifestyle, you hated God. But the music you listen to, but the places you went to, by the things you said out your mouth, God's gonna judge you folks by every secret thing, whether good or evil. So you can't fool God. You can fool yourself, but you're not fooling God. You cannot deceive God. So you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself and examine yourself by the word of God. The word of God is the standard. The word of God is quick and powerful. The, the word of God is the book of instruction to instruct you to live righteously. See, the Bible says the judge shall live by faith. The righteous will inherit eternal life. But many of you folks, you don't want to live a righteous lifestyle. You want to follow your friends into destruction. You want to follow celebrities. You want to follow all these people and not Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, follow me. He said, follow him. He didn't say, follow your friends. Because your friends didn't die for you. Your friends can't save you. It's only Christ Jesus that that died for you. There's only Jesus Christ that can save you. But you can't save yourself and that's why you're in this predicament. And that's why you're stuck in sin. Because you can't save yourself. See the devil, this fallen cherubim, has ancient wisdom. The devil knows how to deceive mankind. The devil knows the flesh is weak. See folks, your, your flesh is very weak without God. And that's why you have girls twerking. You have guys, you know what I'm saying, obsessed with girls' butts and stuff because your flesh is weak. This is why the Bible says you must crucify your flesh. See, when you crucify your flesh, the sins of the world have no dominion over you. See, when you crucify your flesh, the devil has no power over you. The spirit is willing. See, Jesus Christ says, I come to give him life and give it more abundantly. But the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil has come to destroy your life. Sin City is built up to destroy you folks. Everything in this city is built to keep you away from God so you don't make it to heaven. The devil has money, he has influence, he has time. So he can build a place like Las Vegas to deceive you. Because that's how much your soul is worth. Your soul is priceless. So the devil doesn't care to spend millions and billions to take your soul to hell. That's why the devil offers people with no talent record deals to sell their soul. The devil says, if you give me your soul, I give you faith. Because you folks, you're so deceived. You don't understand your soul is priceless. And there's a reason why in Hollywood, 
You have the worst role models. You have people with the worst talents, but somehow they're famous because they sold their soul to the devil for 15 minutes of fame. For a little bit of change, they sold their soul. It's not worth, the Bible says, Jesus Christ says, what is it profit a man to gain the world and lose their soul? What is it profit you to go to a, a club and die and go to hell? What is it profit you to sell your body on Instagram for $5 a month and you go to hell? What type of life is that? Why do you want to live a life that miserable? That's a miserable life. All your life, you had no self-love. You hated yourself. No, you had have, you have no family. You had no one to comfort you. And you die in misery and you go to hell because you want to live for the world. You want to be cool online. You want to be TikTok famous. And you die and go to hell. That's a vain lifestyle. That's very vain. Real Christians fear God. Real Christians dress modest. See, fake Christians are worse than atheists. Fake Christians, you, you, you people are worse than atheists. Because at least some atheists, they'll say, okay, brother, thank you, I'll get right with God. But fake Christians, they want to argue with the preacher and say, oh, Jesus loves me. Jesus died for me. Even though you're going to the club with your boobs out, your butt out, you're cussing up a storm, and you think God's okay with that because God loves you. You're delusional. If you're a Christian that believes in that, you're delusional. And God's going to throw you in the hell fire with the atheists and with the Nazis and with everyone who hates God. You must fear God and keep his commandments. You must walk with God. It's, it's not a joke. Jesus Christ is not some hippie. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he commands obedience. Either you obey God or you will not be with God when you die. Either you love God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, or you don't. There's no in between. There's no, I kind of love Jesus, but I just want to go to the club this one night. That's called being lukewarm. There's no room for lukewarm Christians in heaven. Either you're all in with Jesus or you're all out. There's no middle ground. There's no play in the fence. There's no, oh, Jesus Christ, he forgives me, but I just have problems and I got drunk this one night. None of that stuff is going to matter when you meet God. God's going to tell you, why did you put your trust in me? Why didn't you come to me with your problems? Why didn't you go to the club? You guys got questions? I'm sorry. You guys got a question? Anything like no. that? No, I okay. just wanted to say thank you for what you do. Uh, God bless you. 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 you by yourself? I am. Oh. Well, the Lord's with me. The Lord's with you. The Lord's with you. <laughs> so, folks, there, there's no room for fake Christians in heaven. Fake Christians go to hell. Fake Christians go to hell just with the atheists and the, and the Muslims and the Hindus. They go to hell with them, too because God would not be mocked. You cannot play God. You cannot play God, hallelujah. So the whole duty of mankind. is to fear God and keep his commandments. See, Jesus Christ says in John 14, 15, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. See, people, you know God loves you. But the real question is, do you love God? That's the real question. And Jesus Christ says, if you love me, you keep my commandments. No, he rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. That's called, that's what called Resurrection Sunday. Because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But Jesus Christ says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So the real, the real evidence is when you love God, is when you keep God's commandments, when you obey God. God does not want disobedient children going to clubs and getting drunk. This is not what children of God do. Children of God do not live for this world. Children of God are in this world, but we don't live for this world. The children of God, we live for the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is a superior kingdom. This kingdom of this earth is garbage. Las Vegas is garbage, it's trash. That's why it stinks out here. Because sin stinks. Sin smells like sin is foul. And that's why hell stinks too. Hell smells like garbage too. So everything pure, everything holy, everything that smells good comes from heaven. So people, don't defile yourself. 
in this city is not worth it, man. Don't defile your soul in alcohol and drugs and you know all this stuff, man. It's not worth it, man. He died for you. We love you, bro. It's not worth it. Don't defile yourself with sleeping around from random folks and girls and boys. How you doing? Can I give you a gospel chart? Can I give you a gospel chart real quick? It's a gospel chart. Can I give you a gospel chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gospel real quick. Yeah. God bless you, man. God bless you, bro. I like what you're doing, bro. That's good, bro. The Lord, man. The Lord is with me, man. Good, I, can't, I can't do without him, bro. You just got me, bro. Like, because I'm locked in, but like, okay. you see, and you hit me. Are you from Las Vegas? No, nah, I'm from uh, Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. Hey, man, that's a long way out. Nah, but, yeah, we, but, but, but the Lord, man, he use anything, man. He sends me out here for people like you, bro. He's like, I, I love you, bro. God loves you. The world is trying to, the Lord, the, the world trying to make you hate God, bro. Everything in this world is trying to make you hate God, bro. But the thing is, bro, the love of God is more powerful than anything in this world. So that's why I can be out here by myself, because it's, it's God working through me, bro. Without God, there's no way in the world I'll be out here, bro. Nah, I'll I, probably be in a club or something. I love yeah. what you're doing, bro. The, the I Lord, know nobody's man. soft, but like, once you, once I heard that, because I hear that all night, and I'm, okay. I'm lit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm lit. And I ain't heard that all night. So I love that in you, bro. Hey, bro, this is my YouTube card. Um, I have a YouTube, Instagram, and email on here. So any questions, bro, just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? My name is Troy. 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 Keith. Nice to meet you, nice man. To meet you, bro. Keep on doing this, bro. Don't hey, stop. Hey, man. Stop, got bro. you, bro. Got you. It's my calling, bro. It's my, it's my calling, bro. I got you. Do not stop. And God's calling you to do something, too, bro. I don't know your talents, whatever it is. Music. I don't know. Whatever you got your talents are, bro, use it to glorify God when you surrender to him. All right. Like, I, I hope you don't think I'm just talking because, but, like, I really, like, you know, like, I'm I'm really into it, but, like, I get, I'm, I'm distracted. I'll say, bro, just follow Christ, bro. Don't worry about, like, trying to find a Piper church. Just get a Bible, bro. Start reading it for yourself. It's you one-on-one -on -one with God, bro. And he will guide you, bro. He'll guide you to the right church, right everything, bro. Just have personal relationship with God. It's not about religion, bro. It's not about being religious. That's what you know I, what I'm I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious, bro. When people say I'm Christian, no, I have, I want a relationship. Right, bro. It's, it's relationship, bro. Like, a lot of churches, they might, they might be religious, but... They don't have the power of God. That's why a lot of churches people go to and it's dead. Because they, there's no power in it. It's just religion. It's just going through the motion. But we have a relationship with God. We have the presence of God. You feel the presence of God. And the presence of God is real. It will draw people in. Passion, bro. You know, the, the Holy Spirit is power. God wants to give you power, bro. God doesn't want his children walking around weak and like scared and tipped. like nah bro as a child of god you walk around with dominion and authority you walk around with you know power bro from god not from ourselves but god lives inside us so we have power bro and, and we and we speak with power you know we don't speak like okay i don't know like, no we speak with confidence because god is speaking through us man but all comes with knowing god and spending time with god in the word man it's all it's a journey man but we have to start it though you gotta start Somewhere. it brother you gotta That's start it bro no matter what bro I don't know. I hope you don't think I'm just talking. Like this is this is real. Keep don't stop doing this, bro. Don't stop doing this. Can't stop, bro. Like, especially in a city like this, don't stop doing this. Can't like stop, I bro. know you probably don't get a lot of people coming to talk. Hey, bro, I had some Jezebel girls, bro. They tried to they stole my bag. They want they wanted to burn my stuff, bro. Come on, leave it. Okay. Bro, I had some Jezebel women, bro. They they full on manifested, bro. They were like screaming and stuff. They're saying, "Oh, little pee pee, like, bro." That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Cause the, the gospel is power, bro. Like, like I feel that, like, my mom trying to. I know it's my mom, but like, at the, I'm talking to you about some real stuff, and I feel like that's the enemy coming to tell us, "No, come on, go, go, go. Let's party. Let's do this." No, I'm talking to you. Right, amen. Like, and I don't like. Yeah, I might be a little, but like, there's forgiveness, bro. It's yeah. repentance, bro. That's what repentance is. That's what I'm working on right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be here and like just say, oh, I'm right with God. I love God. I love Jesus Christ. I accept him as my Lord and Savior, but I'm not right right now. So I can't really, bro, I that's, can. that's honest, bro. That heart right there is going to get you far, bro. Because I had a faith, I had a Christian girl was saying like she's like oh yeah i believe in jesus but she's trying to argue with me now the boobs out like that right there that's a hard and hard bro people like that is hard to reach but people like you would be like hey i know i'm doing wrong that that humility will get you way farther than someone who's like oh f you bro i love jesus i'm gonna do what i want oh no nah, bro that, that won't get you nowhere that's the relation like right. like i want that relationship where like 
I don't worry about nothing. Like I'm like, I don't need this. I got, you know, like I'm working through. You can have that, bro. You can have that, bro. I know I can. It's just, I don't want to make excuses, but like that's all I do. I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm young. Um, I still got time, but I don't. You never know. Hey, bro, we're the end times, bro. It's getting crazy out here, it's bro. We're in the end times, bro. With all this Palestine and Israel, like yeah, that scary. you got COVID, bro. Got all that stuff going on, like that's, that's not serious. Is this bro. you? Yeah, that's me, bro. That that code it goes to my YouTube. It goes straight to my YouTube. If you scan it, it goes to my YouTube. Number on it though, like this is. Well, I'll get my number out. Like if you, if you email me, I will give you my number. I, if you email me, I will give you my number. Bro, one of the realest dude I ever talked to in my life about this, bro. I love you, bro. I love you so too, hit me bro. up, bro. Like I said, we can talk. We get closer, bro. Give you get my number stuff and you know, things like that. Hey, keep on doing this. I got I, you, bro. I got if you. I for, keep on doing it, no matter. I got what. you, bro. I got you. Keep on doing it. No bush. Hey, the Lord loves you. The, the Lord died for you. When the Lord is commanding repentance, the Lord is commanding you to repent and come out of sin. The Lord is commanding you to repent and come out of sin. You must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You need a relationship with Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the only name that you can be saved by. Jesus Christ is the only person that can save you. Because folks, you need a savior. If you're getting drunk, you know, smoking weed, having sex with random people, you need a savior. And this is why Jesus Christ came to save you. Christ came to save you because he loved you. But you need to surrender to him. You have to surrender to Christ. See, Jesus Christ, he's the author of salvation to all those who obey him. You know, Jesus Christ, he's the first and he's the last. He's the Alpha and Omega. But you have to surrender to him, brother. And to surrender to him. Oh, surrender, man. man. Like, don't come I out been. of sin, bro. You I know been, what I'm bro. saying? Well, you have a cross in your heart. Yeah. That's what matters, man. You're not living in sin, man. no alcohol, no drugs, no pornography. None of that stuff, bro. You know what I'm it's saying? Alcohol. Well, okay. Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, sin, well yeah, just don't get drunk. The Bible says don't I'm get a, drunk, I'm a smart man. One. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says be sober, be vigilant, because the devil's like a roaring lion. To the devil's always the there, but don't, be, don't fear the devil. Of course. You got to fear God more than anything. Exactly. But if you fear God, you won't live in sin either. Because there's consequences of sin. He's coming. You know what I'm He's coming. So make He's sure back. holy and righteously, man. Can I give you a gospel track, bro? Just a quick. Um, just a gospel track. Thank you, bro. God bless have, you, bro. Have a blessing, man. Love you, bro. So, so Jesus Christ, he, he is the ultimate judge of the universe. God's going to judge us based on the way we live our lifestyles. All of us. He's going to stand before God one day. All of us will stand before God one day and give an account for our life. Imagine if God looked over your life and all you did was go to clubs and smoke weed and watch porn and cuss at people and gossip and slander. What do you think God's going to say? He didn't repent of it. See, God is forgiving. But you have to repent. You have to be like, God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to stop doing it. I do that every so what do you repent of? So, that's, that's coming. so it's like true repentance is asking God for forgiveness and turning away. Every day I wake up and I think I'm alive. And Amen. I thank him for the sins I may cause today. And over and over and over again and again. Right. Every morning. So we don't we don't live in habitual sin, right? Like see, yeah. he can give you peace. He can give you peace. So as I was saying, so Jesus Christ. If God looks at your life as a book, your life is like a book. And in your book, God's going to judge you what's written in your book. And if your book does not meet God's standards, if your book is not cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, God will throw, God will throw all of you into the, into the lake of fire. Because Jesus Christ, yeah. Jesus Christ died for you, bro. He died for you, man, because he loves you, bro. But do you love him? That's the real question, God. man. And do you obey God? That's the real question. I listen to God. I walk with you, God. You obey God. I walk with God every day. Every day. Every day. 
reading your Bible, you're praying, all this I'm stuff, living in holiness, sin. righteousness, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No sin, like no alcohol, no drugs, no pornography, no sleeping around. Sometimes I'll be sick. All right, well, well, okay, so. But I'll be repenting. So, okay. I'll be repenting true day. repentance is actually turn away from it and not doing it again. That's right. true repentance. So, for instance, right, so I mean, right? I used to go to clubs, have sex with girls, I and stuff like mistake. that. Well, that's not, that's a deliberate mistake, though. Like, Where's the hip hop club? I'm sorry. Huh? Hip hop club. But I know Jesus Christ. I'm in here preaching Jesus, man. I'm here preaching Jesus. But I'm saying this, bro. I'm saying this, though. Hey, look, I I used to live this lifestyle too, bro. But when Christ came to me, I didn't want to do it no more. Yeah. The, the love of God, bro, is so powerful. It's so beautiful, bro. Everything out here looks nasty. Hell yeah. It's nasty, bro. We we see God's love. We're like, bro, this stuff is disgusting. You don't want to sleep around with girls. You don't want to smoke weed, do drugs, because you realize how disgusting it is in the eyes of God. But it comes with getting in the presence of God. So reading your Bible, spend praying, all this stuff, you get more of God's presence inside you. And he changes you, brother. You can't change yourself. Right. He's not asking you to. He's asking you to put trust in him and let him change you. Yeah. You still got to do some work, but you have to put your trust in him and he will actually change you. But it starts with actually surrendering, brother, yep. and forgetting the world, bro. Put the, put the world in a garbage can, bro, and kick it off. Because the world doesn't matter, bro. Your yep. soul matters. It's between you and God. That's it. Your life is about you and God, not That's not it. clubs, not friends. No offense, guys, but your your life, God is the most important. It should be the most important thing in your life. Not girlfriends, not parents, not not God, bro. Follow Him, bro. Because following God, you're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose family members, maybe. You're gonna lose something, but it's worth it, bro. It's totally worth it. I promise you it's worth it. If you truly just seek him for yourself. For God, yourself. Bro. Okay. Are you born again? Who, who's God to you? God is my What's his name? Huh? God to me. Well, see the real God is Jesus Christ. He died for your sins, man. He died for you, bro. Well, you don't need religion, but you need a relationship with God. So Catholicism, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, all that stuff. I build that relationship through doing good deeds. Well, you can't, it's like you, can't, you can't build it for good deeds. The Bible says your good deeds are like filthy rags. So a relationship with God comes from a sacrifice of what Jesus did on the cross. See, like, bro, it doesn't matter how many good deeds you do. You can never be right with God by your own strength because God's standard is, is perfect and we all have sinned. But Jesus Christ was sinless. So when he died for you, he put his righteousness on you when you put your faith in him. So you cannot rely on yourself to be right with God. You must rely on Jesus, what he did on the cross for you to be right with God. And live for him. You have to live for him though. You have to come out of sin. You have to live for him, bro. If you don't live for him, your faith is dead. It's like your words don't matter. If you say you love Christ and go to the clubs and do whatever, it's like it's like you're saying, God, I really don't, I'll, God, I don't care about you. Your actions speak way more than words, bro. I'm just saying, brother. I'm saying, truly seek him by yourself. Be alone with God, man. Don't, don't, don't listen to the world. Follow Jesus for yourself, man. Like I told him, you might lose friends, but it's worth it. You have to make a choice to either serve Christ or not. But you have to make a choice to either serve God or not. Hey, bro, get your girl, bro. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, get, hey, get, get your girl, bro. Get, get him, bro. Oh, okay. Well, get him, bro. But guys, you have, you have to truly, you guys got to repent. You guys got to come out of sin and walk in holiness and righteousness. Because Jesus Christ is holy. God is holy. In this world, Las Vegas is unholy. Las Vegas is the folly. But well, you must live for Jesus Christ. You must come out of sin and repent. You need to repent and truly come to Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the only person that can save you. No one else in this world is, is going to save you. Only Jesus is going to save you.
but you must let him be your Lord and Savior. You must allow him to be your Lord and Savior. So Jesus Christ is coming back for a holy church without spot, without blemish, and without wrinkle. Christ is coming back, guys. You gotta get ready. You have to get ready because Christ is coming back. Are you prepared to meet the Lord? Are you prepared, man? I hope so. Well, no, hope so. You, you can know so, bro. You can know so. I read the you Bible. Know, you have to know, no, I know. I know. You gotta be. You gotta be. Uh, you gotta get ready for that trip for sure in this life. But at the end of the day, it's up to God. No, you know, it's not your choice. Like even your deeds, as perfect as you think you might be, you never know what what God's gonna lead you to. Who's God, who's God to you? Allah. Okay. So that's what Allah says, but Jesus Christ, who's the living God, he, he wants you to know, brother. He doesn't want you to guess, like, no. But explain this to me. How is Jesus Christ, the Son, the Father, and God? Like, why is he in three forms? So I'll tell you this. So God is omnipresent, right? And God can express himself in many ways. So it's all for you, right? Are you a father? Are you, are you a father? Are you a brother? Okay. So you can be a father if you get kids. You, you can be, a, you can be a, um, a son, but you're still one person. So God is God, right? Because he's omnipresent. Yeah, but if he's the almighty, why does he have to even take a form of his creation? Well, he did it to save us on our behalf. He why doesn't would, have to, but he, he did. To, why would he have to save he us? Sins. Why, yeah, but why would, why would he save us before we even sin? No, well, he saved us because he sinned. But we haven't sinned yet, well, according to him saving us. No, he sinned. Well, Adam and Eve started the whole sin process. So when we sin, God had to get a plan to redeem us. So he didn't make like at first there is no sin, so he didn't have to save us. Everything was perfect. But, but when, when you say, sin, but when you take a test in school, do they say you passed already? I I, I gave you the A. They make you work for that shit. That's what. Well, God making us work to well, it's not well, we're not saved by works. We're saved by faith through grace. So you have to have faith in God, and your works have to back it up. So for instance, you can't say you love God and say you gonna go to the club because that means your faith is dead. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe in that. I feel like you could still go to the club. I'm married. I'm going to the club with my friends just to have a good time. But so I you, still do. you get drunk? No. Okay. Never. Now, do you eat pork or something like that? No, man, no muscles no. say you know muscles, they don't you can't eat pork. Yeah. But also like the thing about but by the way, really religious Christians don't eat pork either. Well it's not about being religious, it's, it's about really just obeying no, God. If you look at Catholicism, it's the closest thing to Islam. They don't, they're not allowed to get drunk, they're not allowed to eat pork. Well, but the then, Bible says that, though. But then in America, they change the way that Christianity is. There's like 50 versions of Christianity. Well, there's fake Christians, because the devil's attacking Christians. He's not attacking Islam, bro, but Islam is not the truth. See, Christianity is the truth. We believe it's a trilogy. We believe Judaism came first, then Christianity, from the same one God that we all believe in, and then no. Islam was the last Because Allah tells, Allah tells the Muslims, to go kill, make war against the Jews and Christians. So it's nah, not bro. the same God. Nah, bro, you're interpreting what happened 1,400 years ago. That's in, a, that's, in a, that's in the Quran, it doesn't bro. Mean it's today, in the like today, I'm not killing. I'm not, yeah, but, that's. But you should obey it, though. I'll, I obey my book. You should obey your book. Yeah, yeah, my book, it. yeah but my book doesn't say. It one of the Ten Commandments is don't kill people. Just like for you and for Judaism, we're all interconnected. But it's you saying the Quran. if you're, it's saying if you if you are in a war. Then you're supposed to kill. Just like where I'm from Palestine, Israel is bombing the fuck out of my people right now. What do we do? We're fighting back. Well, That's the, the fending is not the same as murder. So the Bible says don't murder. You're just interpreting Quran differently. We're, we're not we're well, not allowed to murder anyone. Well, no, you can kill. Muhammad was a killer. He murdered people to get in into Islam. To defend himself. No, no to convert just, them. He converted just, people. Nah, nah, he wasn't an evangelist, you bro. Gotta read it, you gotta read it again, no, bro. Muslim, so. Muhammad was a warlord. I appreciate that. That's why time, Muslims, man. they kill Christians with their heads chucked off overseas, I bro. Your time, bro. Hey, bro, I'll say take this, bro. Come to Jesus, bro. He's the truth. You need Jesus, bro. He can save you. But you need Jesus, bro. You need Jesus, bro. Muhammad can't save you, bro. I don't know if you're Muslim. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're Muslim or not. I'm Christian. Oh, okay, okay, I bet you. But we need, you need this, bro. Please, take it, bro. So only Jesus Christ can save you. Only Christ can save you. So repent. Need to repent and come to the Lord. Only Jesus Christ can save you. He's the only person under heaven while well, you can be saved. It's the name of Jesus Christ. But you must repent. You must humble yourself. You must come to the Lord Jesus. Repent and believe the gospel, every one of you. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Yeshua. And you, and you shall, Yeshua. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost.
that only in the name of Jesus Christ can save. I know, but Only in the name of Jesus can save. And Jesus can save you. But do you want to be saved? Do you want freedom? Do you want to be free from this world? Do you want to be free from this world of sin, this world of slavery? Do you want to be set free? Because the Lord can set you free. But do you want the freedom? Or do you want to continue being a slave? Do you want to continue being a slave to sin? Because all this stuff is slavery in the eyes of God. This is slavery. Sin is spiritual slavery. But the Lord can set you free if you humble yourself and you come to him with a humble heart. You can be set free from the chains of sin, the chains of slavery. The Lord can set you free. But you got to humble yourself and repent because your pride will destroy you. The Bible says pride comes before destruction. Your pride is going to destroy you. You say you don't need God, that is prideful. Your pride will destroy you. So humble yourself. Come to God. If you're messed up, say, God, I need, I need help. God, I struggle with this and that. God can work with that. But the people who say things like, oh, God doesn't judge, don't judge me, it's not going to work out for you. It's not going to work out for you if you don't want to be honest about yourself towards God. Because God can help you. God can help you overcome your struggles, your addictions. But you have to get over your denial. You have to stop lying to yourself. And telling yourself you're okay when you're not okay. When you're suicidal, you're depressed. You have self-esteem issues. And you're telling yourself, I'm okay. I don't need God. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself. And take it to God. Confess, confess yourself to the Lord and forsake your sins and you will find mercy you will find mercy when you confess your faults to the lord so jesus loves you folks but he's coming back he must be ready